doing? Good, good. How are you? You're good. Well, I've heard done some amazing runs this weekend already. Yeah, we, we got it out yesterday, made a couple eighth mile hits, went a little faster than we ever did to the eighth before, so that's good. This is the best track we've ever been on. Typically, we're doing no prep stuff and cars set up for no prep, but this radial stuff of radial prep is a whole different ball game we're trying to figure out, but it's it's going good so far. The front end staying down? It has. We added about 25 pounds to the front end. Um, got it pretty tight, so hopefully it does stay down. So uh, tell us a little bit about your blue call. And it looks super pointing. Thank you, thank you. So it's an LSX 427 built by Mike Lau Racing Engines. Okay. We've got a forced induction 107 millimeter turbo, performance racing transmission turbo 400. It's still an IRS car. Yeah, that's that's really the biggest struggle with this thing is it's it's super finicky. Granted, with this kind of track, we can get away with a lot more, but we're not used to hitting it as hard as we can right now. So it's a, it's a whole different. One adjustment not make that much of a difference. The the suspension wise up front, yeah. It's it's like one click can make or break it, oh. and um, it's it's a learning curve for sure. Yeah, you just thought about converting over to like a solid axle, or are you going to keep it in one? Every year, I tell myself I'm going to cut this crap out and and build a, a solid axle for it, and then I I don't do it. Eventually, I want to. I think it'll lose a lot of weight. The car's just under 3,800 pounds right now, and I think solid axle will get another two three hundred pounds out and give us so much more control. But we went 119 to the 60 foot yesterday, which is actually a a record for these things and that's on a, a 275 tire so that's impressive yeah pretty pretty happy about that maybe today if uh if we play our cards right we can go a little quicker okay i'm a bit looking forward to that how long did you have the car for geez i bought this thing nine years ago just came up on facebook memories the other day started out as a daily driver um and i just wrecked the car from there well that's good it's been a labor of love to get it where it's at huh absolutely the point why well, i can't imagine that the power is still this plain and having it for that long, so that's the very impressive. And definitely looking forward to seeing some great runs today. Hoping it heats up and gets the track a little stickier, I hope. We'll see what happens, and good luck out there. And definitely love to have you in our Gretsch Talk Chicago uh, for an interview on this camp coming up in the future. Yeah. So um, where are we going to see you at next? We Right after this, we're going to go back to our, our roots and do the no prep, and we're, we're going to be out at MKE June 9th, I believe, 9th and 10th, that is. Should be running the 275 class. Okay. Reconvert everything back over to what we do and see if we can, we, we run it up is that spring last year mm -hmm. tire off first more hopefully we can get it running like that a little better so, so.